All right, I gave up looking on prices for this thing. The options and the man, I'm gonna tell you this. There's two electronic expansion valves and I found one of them in my parts list on here. I'm gonna put all the pages I took snapshots of. Electronic expansion valve, $680. And you're not flushing that out after a compressor burnout with black oil with metal flake. There's another one over somewhere down here. There's two of them. And uh, I didn't even find the price of the other one. There's a hose manifold assembly. I'm not sure which one it is. It's 3,000, it'll be in the parts price, 3,000 something. All these hoses are several hundred dollars a hose. There's a few cheap ones. This assembly, you cannot get it by itself. It's the whole assembly with all these hoses and everything like that. It was a crazy, stupid thousands dollars price. I did not even pro find the price for an accumulator. I could guarantee you that accumulator is probably more than most compressors. Front end accidents. You guys who do the fucking whack off cans and now oh, I'm going to just fill it up until it comes out cool. Especially if you, anybody using AC Pro that has a incompatible oil that says in a little tiny asterisk do not use it on electric compressors since i've already got a few um the code it'll throw in a car about 18 months later after somebody puts it in is high amp draw it'll shut off the compressor and the code will be high amp draw because the winding shorted out it does not do immediate damage and it works really good when you put the ac pro in there and the customer is happy and he leaves but they come back about a year and a half later with high amp draw from their winding shorting um or i had that happen three times already i already know those guys so you're on one of these cars and you total out a system expect a very very expensive bill there is more money in parts on this car in its hvac system than most residential systems for a whole entire house I could tell you that for a fact, Jack. You could take that to the bank. Um, yeah, there's money in HVAC. And now there's money in HVAC in cars. And for the shops who don't do it right, find uh, contaminated refrigerant, find mixed oil, high air percentage and stuff like that. And I test the refrigerant, test the oil, have a burned out compressor and say, who was the last shop who worked on your car, Mrs. Jones? Guess they got a somewhat of a bill to be paying here. And I can guarantee you it's gonna be over 10 grand. See you later, food for thought.